Team Con Art, Sir Rafi B is here and welcome to the fifth episode of Art at Home series where we bring art closer to your home. Today, we will learn how to use local materials in our artworks. Be ready with your paper, pen, and module as we journey in the world of contemporary art. Artworks are made of different materials that are found in the environment. Each artist becomes unique from other artists based on how they use and manipulate the materials they have chosen in creating their art. The materials used in creating the artwork is considered in choosing the technique or the manner the artwork is to be made. In this episode, we are going to discuss the local materials in creating art, identify the materials used by different artists, recognize local materials found in the community that can be used in creating art, and create an artwork using available materials in our locality. Before we proceed with our discussion, we are going to play four picks, one word. All we have to do is to guess what kind of artwork is being referred to by the pictures. Are you ready? Here we go! Let's take a look at this one. Correct! That's sculpture! How about the second group of pictures? Did you answer music? You are right! Next set of pictures. Dance. Correct! And for the last set of pictures. The right answer is... Theater. You are right! Great job! Now you are ready for today's art fantastic journey! Material or the substance are the things in which the art is made of. Through these materials, the artists express and communicate their feelings and ideas. Some contemporary artists use found materials like old bottles, scraps, and unusual materials in creating their artwork. In sculpture, the sculptor uses metal, wood, stone, clay, and glass. The architect uses wood, bamboo, bricks, stone, concrete, and various building materials. The painter uses pigments on a usually flat ground such as wood, canvas, paper, stone, or wall. The printmaker uses ink printed or transferred on a surface like wood, metal, plates, or silk screen that is in keeping with a duplicating or reproducing process. While paintings are unique and one-of-a-kind, prints can be reproduced in several predetermined editions. Musicians use sound, voice, and instruments. The dancer uses body and its movements. Dance is often accompanied by music, but there are dances that do not rely on musical accompaniment to be realized. Dance can tell stories, but other times, they convey abstract ideas that do not rely on a narrative. The theater artist integrates all the arts and uses stage, production design, performance elements, and script to enable the visual, musical, dance, and other aspects to come together as a whole work. The photographer and filmmaker uses the camera to record the outside world. The filmmaker uses cinematographic cameras to record and put together production design, sound engineering, performance, and screenplay. In digital photography and film, the images can be assimilated into the computer, thus eliminating the need for celluloid or negatives, processing chemicals, or print. The writer of a novel, poetry, fiction, and non-fiction articles uses words. The designer, the performance artist, and the installation artist combine the use of a range of different material. How about you? What kind of artist do you identify yourself as? Write your answers in the comment section below. The Philippines is rich in natural resources. 
From the mountain to the sea, we have unlimited materials that can be used to create different artworks. Here are the various local materials in the Philippines used for arts and crafts. Abaca belongs to a banana family. Its fibers have a natural luster with colors ranging from pure white to ivory and dark brown. Bamboo is used in creating many products. It is used in construction, textile, musical instruments, and many more. Buri is extracted from matured leaves of buri palm. The fiber is durable and resistant to moisture. Capi's shells are translucent to allow light to pass through but still allow privacy. The capis comes from the windowpane oyster or the placuna placenta found in the coastal waters of the Philippines and are known for their beautiful mother of pearl look. Ratan belongs to the palm family. There are different types of ratan palms such as high or low climbers, single-stemmed or clustered ratan species. Seashells are hard exoskeleton of marine mollusks such as snails, bivalves, and chitons that serve to protect and support their bodies. This material is usually used in making ornaments and house decorations. For your first task today, you are going to answer these three questions. Number one, what is the importance of using locally available resources in creating art? Number two, how do materials affect the way art is made? And number three, what resources are available in your locality and what art products can you make out of these available materials? Now let's talk about techniques. Technique is the manner in which artists use and manipulate materials to achieve the desired formal effect and communicate the desired concept or meaning according to his or her personal style, may it be modern or neoclassic. The distinctive character or nature of the medium determines the technique. For example, stone is chiseled, wood is carved, clay is modeled and shaped, metal is cast, and thread is woven. There are some places in the Philippines that became famous because of the unusual or extraordinary products that they make. These products become their way for people to know about their places. These people use traditional techniques in creating a particular art that makes them famous. Traditional techniques used by the Filipinos even from the past years are depicted in our painting, sculpture, dance, architecture, music, and even textile. It only proves that Filipinos, like any other people in the world, can be very proud of our Philippine arts. Here are some of the traditional techniques used in Philippine arts. Wood carving, a technique encompassing any form of working wood with a tool into some sort of aesthetic object. Molding is a technique of shaping liquid or pliable materials such as clay. Traditional pottery making in the Philippines involves the method of molding. Weaving is a method of textile production in which two distinct sets of yarns or threads are interlaced at right angles to form a fabric or cloth. Textile hand weaving is one of the most attractive and interesting traditional crafts of the Philippines, imbued with romanticism and laden with cultural significance. The Ilocano still practice hand weaving using the pedaloom. Their materials are cotton and natural dyes although now they use store-bought threads and synthetic dyes. They know several weaving techniques and designs passed down to many generations. Abel or Inabel is a fabric customarily made of cotton fiber turned into spools of beeswax brushed yarn and woven in a hand loom. Textiles in Mindanao are predominantly hand-woven from abaca. The Maguindanawan, Maranao, and Yakan continue the tradition of cotton and silk weaving. Tinalak is a sacred cloth woven by the Tiboli people in the communities around Lake Cebu, Mindanao Island. There are four different types of basketry method. Coiling, plating, wickering, and twining. Some of the terms that are specific to basket weaving include loops, twining, ribs, and spokes. The common raw material used in making baskets are rattan, abaca, nito, tikog, buri, bamboo, pandan, coconut leaves and sticks, palm leaves, and beeswax. There are several baskets that use combined raw materials. 
for your second task, you are going to collect at least the three materials found in your locality and create a work of art which illustrates how you can help as a youth to promote tourism. Here's how you are going to be graded. Variety of materials, 25 points. Concept and relevance, 40 points. And overall impact, 25 points. Take a photo of your artwork and upload it on Facebook using the hashtag Art at Home 5. We Filipinos are natural-born artists, and our artistry will thrive no matter what. Our skill towards transforming available resources into art is a reflection of our flexibility and aesthetic sense. May you continue to bring out the artist in you and inspire others through your work. This has been Sir Rafi B. See you in the next Art at Home episode, where we bring art closer to your homes.